pretty sure that's sexual harassment. What are you talking about, man? All I did was say, what's up, tits? Let's go. You know, when we get the call, we gotta get going fast. We have to have everything done just like that. We gotta get out of the shop. We gotta have the equipment ready. We gotta start crunching the numbers. We gotta start listening to the radio. We have to get everything done exactly in order. We gotta get to that spot before the rainbow forms because you have to see it from the beginning. You guys are dicks. I'm going with the locator, goddammit. And the helmet cams. <coughs> 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 Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, you know, we all we all just kind of go based off of uh, weather reports. That's the first thing, you know, that uh, that we'll look at to determine where we may be able to find a rainbow. And then, uh, you know, my equipment comes in more when we're pretty sure there's a rainbow and we just need to find it. Help me set up this spectrometer, goddammit. it! got lead in your eye. Stretch that out for me. The locator's chirping. Could be in the next 15 to 20. Getting stronger. Keeps climbing. This isn't right. I don't know if it's if it's just their awe and their wonder that they've been in fairy tales and songs, inspired poems. How could I not be fascinated with them? Spectrometer is working. It's just it's hardly showing me anything now. And when we have all of our calculations just right and all the equipment together, but you get there and it just doesn't happen. You know that's. That's really powerful. Some days it's just not your day. It hasn't been our day for eight weeks. Fuck. It's all right, Tut. It'll happen. It's not all right. At least it's not raining. Yeah, we missed that too. Just being there and seeing it, getting on camera, getting the data, that's what I like the best is when everything goes to plan and we get the exact thing we were looking for. Which is? Which is data, my friend, data. Rainbow data. Katie Bowman, everybody! Katie Bowman! Katie Bowman! Katie Bowman making her way to the stage. Yeah! Hello! Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get to it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, that's a sick jacket. <laughs> and then like the white hair side of the crowd is like, okay, that looks like the clown from It if it wore Georgie's jacket for sport. <laughs> That's true, that's true. I was actually planning to wear some white pants tonight. Um, I was really trying to branch out, you know? Um, but uh, my uterus decided to drop the mic, so. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit of a stoner. Who's a stoner, right, right? It's so fun. Um, I'm a little bit of a stoner. But I also work at a Planned Parenthood clinic, so. <laughs> just a little too chipper, just a little too chipper to be at Planned Parenthood sometimes. <laughs> you don't want to say that, hey, how's it going? What brings you in today? <laughs> They're always like, <laughs> well, my partner gave me chlamydia. <laughs> And I'm always like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's really common in Denver right now. No, wait. <laughs> no, wait. You better hope it's chlamydia. <laughs> it's like the flu of the dick. <laughs> goes to, just goes away with a pill, right? <laughs> Um, it gets worse with like HIV results that I have to give, you know, like I really feel like I bond with those, pa those patients and then every time I end the conversation like, hey, I'm gonna go check on that HIV result, I feel really good about it. <laughs> you 
like, <laughs> you shouldn't say that if you don't know what the result is. <laughs> it gets existential, you know, people always try to get in, get in when we like cannot fit them in at all. <laughs> And they're like, please, please, I just have this thing on my body and I need someone to tell me it's nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, isn't that all of us every day in our lives? <laughs> uh, <laughs> people always come in, you know, and like stuff will be out of our scope of care. For instance, this one woman came in and she was like, I just keep pooping my pants a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure that that is out of our scope of care, but then I almost started shitting my pants. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, did our bowels just sink up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this. When it was on my dating profile, people would always be like, I hate you, or I get tested. <laughs> you don't hear that a lot. <laughs> and then one guy one day was like, you genuinely should have been aborted. <laughs> but then I was thinking outside the box and I was like, hey, at least he's pro-choice. <laughs> Thank you so much, I'm Katie Bowman. Katie Bowman! Katie Bowman, everybody! America's economy is in the shitter. We need to get money back in the hands of the common fool. I'm Darwin Boone. Walk with me. You see, I've devised a plan that will put 26 inch rims back on the cars of every American. How you ask? Well, it's simple. What is every American good at? Being a shitting, walking, talking, breathing, eating, shitting advertisement. I said shitting twice, it's that important. You see, I've devised a way to allow the common fool to do what he's great at and do it to the benefit of Polite society. <laughs> Speed limit 20. Speed limit 20. And they have all kinds of uses, such as informational. Women's! Women's! And women's! And out of order. Home. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. And they're perfect to use around the office, too. Hang in there, kitty. Hang in there, kitty. So employ the common there, fool for two dollars and fifty cents an hour today and save the United States of America. Hang in there, kitty. Hang in there, kitty. Hang in there, kitty. You know, it's just been taking me a really long time to find a job. Well, I mean, you know, with the economy the way it is now, it's just really hard to That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> You know, don't think that I want to do this. I mean, nobody wants to do this. But you know, we do still have some standards here at this organization and you know, I just, I just don't think that you're the kind of henchman that we want here at Professor Von Mayhem Incorporated. January 15th. Henchman refuses to install giant self-destruct button. Calls design weapons grade retardation. Yeah, well, giant buttons are retarded. February 10. Henchman calls professor's threat to make Europe sterile from orbit to be, and I quote, something I'd expect out of one of the fuck sticks on the Jersey Shore. 
Yeah, well, Barney leaves the empty coffee pots on the warmers all the time. What do you think? Damn it, man. We have a way of doing things around here, and we have been doing them the same way for over 40 yeah, years. Well, how many times has the professor taken over the world anyways, huh? I wonder no one cares about anybody but those terrorists. Don't you dare compare us to terrorists. We don't fight for something as meaningless as religion. We fight for control of the entire planet. Or, you know, at least whichever part is the least irradiated, depending on which one of the professor's glorious plan succeeds. I don't know we're gonna succeed. Putting nails through my dick would accomplish more than any of the professor's asinine stupidity. And behavior like this is why you're terminated. What, I'm fired? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're terminated. Oh, so I can't just use the reference. June. Yes, Mr. Peterson. Can you go ahead and bring me up another coffee, please? All the pots are broken. Actually, why don't you just go ahead and send Barney up here for me, okay? I can't get the star of pickles open. Ha ha! How? How can I ever repay you? Just don't sue me for kicking your door in just now. What? Ha <laughs> ha! But we digress. All I'm saying is Gandhi got tons of pussy. Well, yeah, that's because he had a flash. Oh, that's what she said! <laughs> I also hear he hated black people. Need change, anything helps. Why lie, it's for beer. What in the hell is that? Dude, it's this new idea I have to show you. Check it out. I hired this guy to follow me around with sound effects, dude. He's gonna put a laugh track to my life. People are gonna think I'm totally funny. But, I mean, you're not funny. I mean, penis cancer is funnier than you are. Dude! Dude, people totally think that I'm funny. Alright, I'll show you. Come on. More diabetes. Diabetes is funnier, too. So then I says, I'd rather drink Santorum than vote for the guy. <laughs> I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Why do people not think I'm funny? <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
What an idiot! <laughs> I told you I'm funny. Let me, for one minute, bring up a one Newton Leroy Gingrich. See, I think that he'd make a great president, but he'd be even better as Supreme Overlord. I mean, dude, I think that is a good solution. But what we really need is a, the final solution. I'm all wet. That's what she said. <laughs> so should I be looking up that, like, at oh, that corner, yeah. though? Yeah. All right. Look where you're going to look again? Yeah, that looks Perfect. Good. I'm rolling, so whenever you're ready. All right. Uh, speed. And... Andrew, will you clap in front of your face? <laughs> and action. Ha-ha! <laughs> and when you do it again, but when you laugh, don't keep looking at the corner. Like, look up. Like, move your eyes with your head. Oh, all right. So I'll look back over here and then... But then you'll be there. looking up when you throw your head back. Yeah. All right. Action. Ha-ha! <laughs> One more time. Ha-ha! <laughs> all right, good. It's a special treat for this guy to have me introduce him. Ladies and gentlemen, Brent Gill. Man, is Rick Kearns not me in like 30 years? Like for real, like <sighs> it is uncomfortable. We even have the same balding hairline and everything. He just kept it going. So it looks like a, like a peacock just kind of <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Welcome. Th uh, thanks for being everyone. I'm, I'm stoked to be back in Colorado. I, I love this state so, so much. I, uh, I don't want to brag or anything, but last week I was in Wyoming. Um, uh, yeah, boo is pretty right. Uh, now, I'm not going to talk a lot of shit about Wyoming because there are a couple redeeming qualities. Like, first and foremost, I'm a catch in Wyoming, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a, I saw the double hand pump, yeah. I'm like a solid eight in Wyoming, all right? Yeah, I don't smoke meth, I've got all my teeth, they're fucking real teeth, look at that, huh? Crushing up there. The other cool thing about Wyoming is it's got an 80 mile an hour speed limit the entire way through, right? Yeah, I, I like to think that's their government's way of saying, we know this sucks, we're sorry. <laughs> Hurry up, hurry up, go, go. Just get some fireworks on the way out. It's been raining. You're good, you're good. I, I had to go from Wyoming over to North Platte, Nebraska. Again, killing it. Uh, now, when I was driving over, you know how every state has the welcome to our state sign? Well, Nebraska's got a sign that says, welcome to Nebraska, the home of Arbor Day. Arbor Day, of course, being the holiday for trees. How the fuck are you the home of Arbor Day when you have the least amount of trees per square foot in the entire United States? It should be Arbor Day awareness. That's what it should be. Aside, and typically when I'm driving, I'm pretty baked, and I, I, <laughs> you have no idea how much weed you can smoke in a six-hour trip through Wyoming and Nebraska. It's a lot. Uh, 
And I was, so I pulled out my phone and I Googled it. I was like, no way. Is Nebraska really the home of, of Arbor Day? And it was. But then for some reason, I'm scrolling down and I'm like six links deep and I see a link to my favorite website, Pornhub. <laughs> And it said, Pornhub.com, Arbor Day Pledge. Well, I'm going to click on this no matter what, because either way, this is going to be satisfying. So I click on this link. Apparently, in Ar Arbor Day 2014, Pornhub made a pledge to plant one tree for every 100 videos watched in the big dick category. Now, at the end of their campaign, they planted 15,743 trees. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh man, talk about putting in hard work, right? And the slogan they used for it, I swear to God, was Pornhub gives America wood. It's the night before 9-11. I'm putting out sweet tea and beef jerky for George W. Bush. Your family doesn't do that? This is a sex pot comedy production.